Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane as we revisit the beloved cast of the iconic TV series, Bewitched, 1964 to 1972. Join us as we explore how the cast members have changed over the years, from their memorable roles on the show to their present day appearances. Now, let's get stated. Elizabeth Montgomery portrayed Samantha Stevens, the lead character in the series. She was 31 years old when she began playing the role of Samantha. As Samantha, Montgomery embodied the quintessential suburban housewife with a magical twist, navigating the challenges of balancing her supernatural abilities with her desire for a normal life. She brought charm, wit, and warmth to the character, making Samantha one of the most beloved television icons of the era. Unfortunately, Elizabeth Montgomery passed away on May 18, 1995, at the age of 62, due to complications from colorectal cancer. David White portrayed Larry Tate, the advertising agency executive and Darren Stevens' boss, in the series. He was 48 years old, he began playing the role of Larry Tate. In the series, White's portrayal of Larry Tate was characterized by his slick, opportunistic demeanor, often serving as a foil to Darren's moral compass. White brought a blend of humor and cunning to the character, making him a memorable part of the show's dynamic. Tragically, David White passed away on November 27, 1990, at the age of 74, due to a heart attack. Agnes Moorhead portrayed Endora, Samantha Stevens' mischievous and powerful witch mother. She was in her mid-60s when she began playing the role of Endora. Moorhead's portrayal of Endora was marked by her sharp wit, extravagant fashion sense, and disdain for mortals, particularly her daughter's husband, Darren. Her character provided comedic relief and added depth to the supernatural world of the show. Sadly, Agnes Moorhead passed away on April 30, 1974, at the age of 73, due to uterine cancer, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most talented and versatile actresses. Dick York portrayed Darren Stevens, the mortal husband of Samantha Stevens. He was 36 years old when he began playing the role of Darren. York's portrayal of Darren was characterized by his affable nature, genuine love for Samantha, and exasperation with the magical antics that often ensued. His chemistry with Elizabeth Montgomery's Samantha was central to the show's appeal. Unfortunately, Dick York's health declined due to a back injury sustained on set, leading to chronic pain and addiction to painkillers. He passed away on February 20, 1992, at the age of 63, due to complications from emphysema. Aaron Murphy portrayed Tabitha Stevens, the mischievous daughter of Samantha and Darren Stevens. She was just two years old when she began sharing the role with her fraternal twin sister, Diane Murphy, before eventually taking over the role full-time. Aaron brought youthful innocence and charm to the character of Tabitha, often getting into magical hijinks like her mother. As of now, Aaron Murphy is 59 years old, and while she left acting to pursue other interests, her portrayal of Tabitha remains a beloved part of television history. Paul Lind portrayed Uncle Arthur, Samantha Stevens' mischievous and flamboyant warlock uncle. He was 39 years old when he began playing the role of Uncle Arthur, Lynn's portrayal of the character was marked by his quick wit, sarcastic humor, and penchant for causing chaos with his magical abilities. His appearances added an extra dose of comedy and unpredictability to the show's supernatural world. Unfortunately, Paul Lynn passed away on January 10, 1982, at the age of 55, due to a heart attack, leaving behind a legacy as a beloved comedic actor. Dick Sargent portrayed Darren Stevens, Samantha Stevens' mortal husband, replacing Dick York in the role. He was 39 years old when he began playing the role of Darren. Sargent's portrayal of Darren was characterized by his charm, humor, and exasperation with the supernatural occurrences surrounding his wife's witchcraft. His chemistry with Elizabeth Montgomery's Samantha endeared him to audiences. Unfortunately, Dick Sargent battled prostate cancer for several years before his death. He passed away on July 8, 1994, at the age of 64, due to complications from the disease, leaving behind a legacy in television. Casey Rogers portrayed Louise Tate, 
the supportive and often humorous wife of Larry Tate. She was 41 years old when she began playing the role of Louise. Rogers' portrayal of Louise Tate was marked by her wit, elegance, and ability to navigate the quirky world of her husband's advertising agency. Her character provided comic relief and added depth to the dynamics of the show. Sadly, Casey Rogers passed away on July 6, 2006, at the age of 80, due to complications from a stroke, leaving behind a legacy as a talented actress. Marion Lorne portrayed Aunt Clara, Samantha Stevens' well-meaning but bumbling witch aunt, in the series. She was 81 years old when she began playing the role of Aunt Clara. Lorne's portrayal of Aunt Clara was marked by her forgetfulness, magical mishaps, and endearing personality. Despite her frequent blunders, Aunt Clara's love for Samantha and her family always shone through. Tragically, Marion Lorne passed away on May 9, 1968, at the age of 84, due to a heart attack, leaving behind a legacy as a beloved character actress and a memorable part of Bewitched. Alice Pierce portrayed Gladys Kravitz, the nosy and perpetually suspicious neighbor of the Stevens family, in the series. She was 48 years old when she began playing the role of Gladys. Pierce's portrayal of Gladys Kravitz was characterized by her comedic timing, exaggerated reactions, and relentless efforts to catch Samantha performing magic. Her character provided comic relief and added tension to the show's plotlines. Sadly, Alice Pierce battled ovarian cancer during her time on Bewitched. She passed away on March 3, 1966, at the age of 48, due to complications from the disease, leaving behind a memorable legacy. Alice Ghostly portrayed Esmeralda, the absent-minded and clumsy witch, in the series. She was 43 years old when she began playing the role of Esmeralda. Ghostly's portrayal of Esmeralda was marked by her whimsical charm, magical mishaps, and endearing personality. Despite her ineptitude at witchcraft, Esmeralda's heart was always in the right place, and she became a beloved character among fans of the show. Tragically, Alice Ghostly passed away on September 21, 2007, at the age of 84, due to complications from colon cancer, leaving behind a legacy as a talented actress and a memorable part of Bewitched. Thanks for joining us on this nostalgic journey through the cast of Bewitched. Which transformation surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content. Until next time, stay tuned for more exciting updates from our channel.